Well, now for an important update on the largest private construction project in Tennessee history. Of course, I'm talking about Blue Oval City, Ford Motor Company's biggest project ever, going up 20 miles up I-40 from Memphis. Today, for the first time, Ford opened its doors to the public, where in two years, this massive site will make electric pickup trucks and batteries. Our Pepper Baker was there. It's been an exciting day here at Tennessee and Ford's history making nearly 4,000 acre Blue Oval City site. And despite the rain and the mud, hundreds of people showed up to tour the campus and hear all the new developments that's still on track to operate in 2025. Great day for Tennessee. Great day for West Tennessee. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee shared the stage with Ford President Jim Farley, giving updates a year into Blue Oval City's construction. Blue Oval City is designed to be for Ford's first carbon neutral vehicle and battery manufacturing campus. Bus tours started at the battery plant, then a mile drive over to the assembly side with the body and paint shop, final assembly and direct rail line. The campus also has three concrete plants, two water towers and its own electric substation. Our new utility system is going to save 50 million gallons of water each year just because of the way we're reducing evaporation and we plan to have zero fresh water use for assembly. Now the big talker, the job opportunities, which Governor Bill Lee made a focal point in this $5.6 billion investment. We anticipate that there'll be a total of 30,000 jobs in the ecosystem of the companies and suppliers that will surround this region to make sure there are the parts necessary to build these vehicles. So. 6,000 jobs, yes, in this plant, 6,000 really high paying jobs, but 30,000 jobs and more in the, in the years to come. He did not know the average worker's salary, but didn't seem phased when asked about Ford's 2022 revenue report showing a $2 billion loss in their electric vehicle division. When we saw leadership today stand up and talk about what this vehicle is going to be and how important it's going to be to the future of the automotive industry. Uh, you know, we feel really excited about what's happening here. Ford President Jim Farley didn't have the electric truck codenamed T3 on display, but he said it will have all the digital bells and whistles and will ride as quiet and smooth as Tennessee whiskey. From Blue Oval City, I'm Pepper Baker.